Hey guys, welcome to IT Army. A couple of months back, I created a video on how to access the OEM partition and how to delete that OEM partition. And that was basically the hidden partition that contains the factory reset image. Whenever you do the factory reset of your laptop, it's actually containing an operating system. It's pretty big partition around 10 to 15 gigs and I was getting a lot of traffic on that video and when I searched online I came to know that people are facing problem that was the update to March 2018 update on Windows 10 uh, the hidden partition that is the recovery partition that appears as a D or E drive and then it keeps on nagging you that you are running out of this space so uh, that partition is actually designed to be full and that's why you are getting that notification that you are, you are running out of this space so uh, I also Try to recreate that issue. I did the older version of installation of Windows 10. I upgraded to March 2018 update and I didn't find any kind of problem. And I guess that problem is only on UEFI Windows installation, not on the legacy BIOS mode. So you can see that which kind of uh, Windows installation you are having by going to MS Info 32. And here you can see that this Windows installation is UEFI mode, not the legacy BIOS mode. And you can verify also that I am running the latest update, March 2018, by going on to WinWare. And you can see that this is a March 2018 update. And if I go to my computer, this PC, and you can see that I'm not getting that recovery partition over here. So uh, now what I'll be doing is I'll be recreating that issue that you might be facing, and then I'll be showing you how to fix it. So I'll be back once I have recreated that issue. Okay, so now I have recreated the issue now when I go to C drive, when I go to my PC, and you can see that I'm getting that recovery drive for you, the drive letter may be different, D, E, F, anything else. And uh, for me, drive letter also, the partition is comparatively bigger, that's why I'm not getting that warnings for low disk space. And uh, when I go there, you see it empty, so it contains system files that are hidden by default, so that's why it's not showing anything. So now what our objective is to get rid of this partition. So all you need to do is go to the command line utility called as this part and from there we will be unassigning that drive letter. So uh, on the start menu you just type CMD, right click on that and run as administrator. And on that command prompt you just need to type the command disk part. And over here we need to select the volume and the letter over here for me it is F for you it may be different so just say cell for select vol for volume and the letter F for me and that volume is selected. Now I just need to issue the command remove it will not be deleting that partition it will be just removing that drive letter that is assigned to this partition so R E M O V E remove and that we can see that right letter is gone. So this was a simple uh, fix to that issue. So hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. And still, if you have any problem, please post in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.